What's going on, trainers? You got TC100 here, aka Trainer Connor, and you're watching episode 5 of my Pokemon Showdown to the Top series. Thank you guys for coming to this video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content in the foreseeable future. And I apologize for no uploads recently. I mean, I was on vacation for a while and then I got sick after. I had to do all those things first. Now it's time for yet another video. I'm really excited for today's episode, so let's jump right into the team preview. I'll see you over there. Okay guys, so the first Pokemon in the squad is a Scarf Kyogre with Drizzle. And I've actually seen this in action. It's very powerful. We got some really powerful moves here. Water Spout, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Origin Pulse. Very tough Pokemon to deal with sometimes, and I'm really excited to use them. Secondarily, we have Eveltal. Oh, and a Charity Berry, which means that it will take less damage from a Rock-type attack. We have Foul Play, Oblivion Wing, Sucker Punch, and Toxic on this defensive Eveltal. Third Pokemon in the squad is Arceus Ground with the Earth Plate. Judgment, Recover, Will-O-Wisp, and Defog is fairly defensive to get rid of hazards and burn opponents and then use judgment for some chip damage. That's what we're going to use him for. Uh, we have Scizor Mega, Mega Scizor, excuse me. And this Pokemon is a great check for Xerneas. Uh, it has Bullet Punch, U-Turn, Roost, and Super Power. So, Ignition boosts the boost for Bullet Punch, U-Turn, and I don't know about Super Power, but all those moves are boosted though. Uh, we have Decorosma, Decorosma has the Ultra Lecrosium Z and it has the full on Gazer, Sword Stance, Outrage, Sun Steel Strike. The idea here is to be normal for a bit and then use the uh, other form to use Outrage and KO things left and right. The last Pokemon in the squad is Reshiram with Fire Yam Z. I have two Z users because of the fact that this particular uh, Rashram is going to be using Inferno Overdrive. I'm not going to be using the other move for Necrozma, so that's the team for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump right into the battles. Alright guys, so we're here for the battles. This is the first one out of four, I believe. My team is there, and you can see my opponent's team. He's going to start out with Primal Groudon against Necrozma. I wasn't sure what he's going to begin with, but I was expecting a fire type move or a rock type move. So I go into Eveltal, he goes for the Stealth Rock, and then the Stone Edge, because I have the Charity Berry, that damage is going to be cut in half. So I go for the Foul Play here. Foul Play doesn't quite cut it, so I'm assuming that it's more bulky, given the fact that he has Stealth Rock. That's definitely true. I go into Rashiram here, since the sun is up and from the HP that the ground one's at, I figured that an Inferno Overdrive would get the job done. That means I can only use, in order for me to use Ultra Electrosome, I can only just bring it into its full form, I can't use Light That Burns the Sky. Anyway, so we go into Necrozma here and we see Salamence going for the Mega Evolution Dragon Dance. This is a boosted up Salamence. I wanted to get rid of it so badly, so this was a good check for it. And we KO it, which is awesome. However, this Evolto right here decides to come in and use Dark Pulse on me. I should have switched out. I didn't know who into probably Scissor would have been a much better option, but this would have been a great opportunity for me to use Kyogre here. Kyogre wouldn't be able to use Water Spout, it only works when at full HP, so I wanted to use Origin Pulse. Had I had the first one, I would probably take it out the Evolta, or close to it actually, but I'd miss it, and so he uses Sucker Punch right afterwards and kills me. So I'm in a tough spot already, as you can tell. I go for Draco Meteor, it still doesn't quite kill the Evolta, but he's Life Orb, so. We got a double down out of it. That's, those are the best types of downs, people. That's that's pretty good. 
However, I have Lulu's and Pokemon left and right here. He goes into Xerneas and let me tell you that it was a fantastic play by my opponent because this will give him a free Z. Gonna go for the Z Geomancy right here as you can see. It's gonna boost up his stats a lot. And there's really nothing I can do to KO this Xerneas. You're gonna notice that during these matches I'm about to show you, I keep missing my moves and they come into play a little bit, not entirely, but there is a moment in certain battles where I really should have hit the Origin Pulse or I should have hit this move. You're gonna see it and you saw the first one. It wasn't really doing much favor for me. Anyways though, we have Mega Scizor out here and there is really no way for me to KO, even though we KO the Xerneas, we still have this Arceus and the Ultra Necro- I don't know if it's Ultra, but it's a Necrozma regardless. He might be Ultra Necrozma. There's really no way of me KOing that Pokemon. So unfortunately I'm going to lose this battle and we're going to see that my opponent is going to be using Sword Stance and going for Shadow Claw. I go for Roost, trying to get my HP back. I was really hoping that Bullet Punch would do more than that. Kinda wish I had Iron Head in this battle. However, that's not the case. He goes for Shadow Claw right here, and then I go for Super Power. It's not really, I mean, that's the only powerful move that I have. Every time you use the move uh, Super Power, it lowers your physical attack. So we lose this battle due game to my opponent, but we had a lot of fun with it. You're going to see a lot of primal, or er, not primal Kyogre, I mean Scarf Kyogre. Kyogre with Scarf at full HP, Water Spout does so much damage and you're going to see it happening real soon here. So this is the secondary Pokemon battle that we have here. I go for the Mega Evolution with Scizor, I go for U-Turn, I was expecting the Oxus Speed to set up on me, he goes for the taunt. As I bring in Evil Toll, here he goes for the Stealth Ox. Now here's the thing, I I personally misplayed Arceus a lot in these battles because there are moments where I should have gone for Defog multiple times when I had the chance to get rid of those Edge Masters, but I never get the chance to do that. Now here is a yet another Xerneas. This time it's going for the regular Geomancy and I need to get rid of this Pokemon. Yes, I really should have had Iron Head. I might change it up in the future because man, Bullet Punch really does not work. Here I was thinking, okay, I can maybe outspeed you with my Choice Scarf Kyogre. No, and on top of that, he has Thunder. Extremely overkill at this point. But what I really should have done, and this is what happens right here, I should have gone into my Necrozma Dusk main and used Sun Skill Strike because it KOs it. So if I went for that first, then I could have kept my Kyogre in the back. However, you know, I just took the other way around and I lose Kyogre for no reason. Very unfortunate. Now here, this, this is the only opportunity for me to uh, use the Z move, or not really the Z move, but the ability for me to use Ultra in that cross mode. That's the only thing I can do with it. That's why I have the item. So I go for that and I use Outrage on the Groudon. I use this opportunity to use Foul Play with Eveltal. The Charlie Berry comes through yet again, cuts the damage in half. Here, this is a, another Mega Salmons and Double Edge is a flying type attack because of Salamence's ability Aerial Eight. This is where I screw up pretty badly, okay? Um, a Dragon Dance boosted Salamence. I only have Judgment. He, he does have Roost. Now the thing about Roost is that it loses its flying typing and I misclick a few times thinking that he's going to use this instead. 
but man, I just keep going for a cover when I could have used Judgment when he was landed. Not a flying type there, but yeah, that means that I'm going to lose this battle. So, there was really nothing I could have done. I mean, if I switched out into Reshiram, that would be bad news bears because all I'm going to do is get destroyed by a Draco Meteor or a Outrage or even a Double Edge. You don't know. So I just keep going for Defog when I just let my opponent set up. This is something that you guys should not do. And I did it because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I was stuck. I should have just... I should have just switched out and sacked off the Rush Ram. And we would have been okay there. But no, I just stay in. I let this Salamence set up to plus six, I believe. On the screen there, it says 3.5. I don't know the whole mechanics of Pokemon Showdown. They say it's like, you know, plus 2, plus 4, plus 6. But, no, it's like plus 3.5, plus 3 point something else. And that is very unfortunate. Here he goes for Roots, and I really should have used the Judgment Ground right there. If I go for yet yeah, another Defog, it doesn't do anything now because I keep using it multiple times. Goes for the Double Edge, and it barely kills me. What I was trying to do was trying to wear it down with the double edge and the burn damage. So, it, it just doesn't work. I mean, if it was poison, then I might have had a much better opportunity for me to knock it out. So, that's the end of this match. Rush Ram goes down to the Earthquake. We're going to have some much better matches coming up here shortly, so let's go ahead and get to that. The third battle you see, my opponent has a lot of Steel types. It's probably a Steel type team. This is a, a field day for my Rashiram, but I really want to use Scarf Kyogre. So we go for the Water Spout right here at full HP. It's going to easily wipe out the Solgolio. He brings in Genesect now, and Genesect for it, I really I don't even have a good answer for it except for Reshiram. So I go into the Velcro. I wish I'd gone into um Oh, because I was predicting the U-turn. I get it. But I wasn't expecting it to do so much. So Evolto uh is here. My kids calling the Reshiram. I don't know what I was thinking back then, these were battles that I did uh, previously, but I finally go into Reshiram, it's like, okay, yeah, you're, you're a ste so Steela, you're a Steel type, I should go into Reshiram, right? So I go for it, even though the uh, rain is still up, a Z-Power move Inferno Overdrive is going to easily wipe out so Steela. Yeah, when fire type moves are in the rain, the, the damage is slightly down a little bit. He brings in Genesect, I'm like, well, Am I going to uh, speed you? I was going to go for yet yeah, another fusion flare, but he's faster. He's probably Scarf. He goes into Mawile, and I'm going to go into Kyogre, Choice Scarf. I'm going to oh, speed you, but he has Sucker Punch. Good play by my opponent, but Water Spout still does a lot of damage. The less HP you have, the less damage Water Spout does. I go into Valtel expecting another Sucker Punch coming my way. Great play by my part. And he goes for a uh, second punch right here. It doesn't do a lot of damage. I was so close to KOing the Maw while I really should have KO'd. I should be faster than his own sucker punch. So I go for my own and I KO the Maw while right after that. He brings in Aegis Slash next. He has Aegis Slash, Arceus, Steel, and Genesect. So I'm really happy I have my, well Rush Out is gone, but I do have some answers, like I have Arceus Ground and uh, Scizor Superpower to do some damage there if I need him to do that. Evolto goes down, this will open the door for Kyogre as well, Kyogre can do this on its own, why not right? But then I forgot about Shadow Sneak, so Shadow Sneak is a priority move, I kind of forgot about it. But that's okay, like I said, we have RCS ground ready to go, so I go for the, I think I go for the Judgment. 
or no, I go for will this my bad. will this works great too because I can cut down the Eevee Slash's attacking power in half. But I do, I do go for the ground type judgment right here and we KO the Eevee Slash. I wasn't lying to you guys, I promise. So the rain continues to fall and here is the RCS Steel for the first time. I go for the super effective judgment and you guys recall mine it's a little late for that. But that's okay with me, I'm just gonna go for yet another judgment. And I think his last Pokemon is Genesect. That's right, Genesect comes in and I think my opponent forfeits because he knows the match is over. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna stay and use another judgment. It's probably not super effective, but it's gonna do some damage. Alright guys, so we have our final match ready to go here and this is where we have Kyogre doing some work in this game. So um, not a good matchup here obviously so I switch out going to RCS ground against the Registeel. We have a great opponent here. He's got some Pokemon and we see Palkia. I go for Wilbus but it doesn't really work out in this um, because he's a special attacker. He goes for special rank, I was expecting him to use that, so I go back into Necrozma and I want to use this to go into, um, not Primal, but like Ultra Necrozma. Go for Outrage, it doesn't do that much damage to the Registeel, I am trapped in, however, but that's okay. Even though I'm poisoned, I'm not going to be using Ultra Necrozma that much. So I would switch out, go into Rashram for the better typing matchup, and he goes for Protect. That would have been a great play had I stayed in because I was poisoned. I go back into Ultra Necrozma, expecting Palkia to come in, and that what ha that's what happens here, guys. So I made a really good prediction. He goes into Arceus Fury expecting Outrage. I predicted that, so I go for the Photon Gazer instead. And that almost does half to Arceus Fury. The Poison is racking up damage every turn, so I have to be very cautious with the Charisma here. I go for yet another Photon Gazer. It's okay, I'm putting some chip damage to the Righteous Seal. No harm in doing that, right? I go into Scizor right now, expecting another Protect coming from Registeel. It's been using Protect quite a lot. I go for the Mega Evolution, use Superpower, and we almost KO the Registeel. He goes for Seismic Toss for some chip damage, and now I can go for the U-turn and bring in somebody fresh. He goes for yet another Protect. Why are you doing this? I don't know. It's not going to do you any favor whatsoever. He brings in Dialga. I go for a superpower this time. I should have gone for the U turn though. That would have been a much better play. But I am happy I put some damage onto Dialga. He goes for Draco Meteor with Dialga and Draco, drop a Draco. It does over half to Arceus. I'm going to go for a cover to get rid of that damage. And he brings in Registeel again. You haven't seen Kyogre at all in this game yet. Don't worry, he's going to come. I just need to find the perfect opportunity. We haven't taken each other's Pokemon out yet. As you can see on the screen. So he brings in Palkia and I go for the Judgment. He's putting some damage on something. I really need... I'm really happy I burned it actually. I need to get rid of these entry hazards, so I go for the defog as he goes for the spatial rend. It doesn't do that much damage. And I'm going to go for another judgment as he goes for the hydro pump. I was just sacking off the RCS. That's what was going on here. Otherwise I could have just switched out into something like Kyogre, for instance. But this way I can bring in Kyogre and this is where the damage starts to pour onto my opponent. I go for the water spout multiple times. Left and right guys, left and right. So he brings back in Registeel. I don't know why he's protecting. It's not going to work out here because look, a full Kyogre using Choice Scarf, water spout, 
exploring the KO things. He brings in Bayalga for Death Fire as he goes down to that powerful water type attack. When he's back in, I just feel like he's gonna protect. Yes, of course he's gonna protect. I don't know why you're doing that though. Because we have to deal with this Pokemon, and then we have Tapu, I think it's Tapu Lele, and then Arceus, which this Pokemon is going to go down to the Water Spout, and then we have potentially a regular Aerodactyl or a Mega Aerodactyl. So my opponent is pretty much finished. There's really nothing that my opponent can do at this point, even though it's a Mega Aerodactyl, it's quite fast. That's why I have the Choice Scarf available. So, my opponent decides to forfeit at this point, and that's going to be the end of these battles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video here. I hope you guys also enjoyed the awesome showing of Choice Scarf, Water Spout, Kyogre. Let me know what you guys liked about this video. Make sure you give me suggestions for what Pokemon I should use in the next episode of Pokemon Showdown to the Top. Again, this is TC100 bringing you episode 5 of Pokemon Showdown to the Top. Until next time, have a great day, trainers.